Good morning, I'm Scott from ProSun Solar. Today we've got the new SunGrow hybrid inverter. I'm gonna open it up and have a look. Um, first we can see the, uh, the model down here, the SH50RT. All right, let's uh, see if we can cut it open and have a look. Um, so we've got the manuals, very straightforward. Mounting bracket, built-in level, lots of holes there. Wi-Fi adapter, so it just plugs in, no screws or anything. It's just an RJ45 connection. It's pretty straightforward. Looks like a Chint energy meter. Very beefy uh, plugs. So there's one for grid and one for off-grid. Pack of MC4s, genuine MC4s. Some cable for connecting our energy meter to the inverter. Looks like about 10 meters maybe. Uh, some more plugs for connecting the data. Uh, put a, a multi-pin plug in the bottom there. Uh, and some bootlace lugs as well, which is handy. Uh, a couple more, I believe these are for the battery connection, MC4s. Just a pack of screws, plugs, uh, for attaching it to the wall. Hope nobody's using green plugs. All right, let's get it out. First thing I noticed getting out of the box is there's no screen on the new model. We just have an indicator light, um, but a very nice, clean looking uh, front. Um, we have a built-in DC isolator switch. Pretty nice uh, movement. And the ability to lock it um, on the side there. Oh. Lock in the off position. Now, on the bottom, most of it's pretty standard. Um, set of plugs for connecting the PV, set of plugs for connecting the battery, um, uh, where the wireless LAN connects in. Put that one back on. Our comms connection. Uh, this is the backup AC plug and the grid connection AC plug. Um, those caps just come off. Pretty easily. Um, you set it up. Now, on the side, um, we've got some information. Uh, so, MPP voltage range 150 volts to 950 volts. Uh, maximum input of 1000 volts DC. Um, it's pretty standard on larger inverters, but um, I haven't seen too many five kilowatt inverters. Though this is a three phase um, with that high voltage range. Um, max input current, 12 amps per tracker and uh, a short circuit current of 16 amps per tracker. So pretty standard, um, a little bit of an increase from the last one, um, but it should suit a pretty wide range of, uh, of panels. Battery information, voltage range of 150 volts to 600 volts, and uh, a max charge and discharge current of 30 amps. So maximum output power of, uh, of five kilowatts, uh, five VA, and uh, 5,000 VA, sorry. And that's about it. That's, uh, that's pretty much all the information. So it looks like SunGrow have done a pretty good job of uh, improving not only just the look of the inverter, but um, a lot of the technical parameters as well. Um, one of the main changes uh, between this one and the last model is this is um, designed for high voltage batteries, whereas the previous model was a 48 volt. So that's probably the, the main difference uh, and the, the built-in uh, EPS rather than having the uh, external device that was with one of the older uh, hybrid models. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you very much from ProSun.